My name is Ben Skuldunner. I'm an English teacher and an educational technologist at Ashland High School in Ashland, Ohio. And what I discovered very early on in my teaching career was that I wanted to create a classroom that was non-traditional and that was immersive. What I discovered recently is that Minecraft Education Edition really does both of those things. It creates an immersive environment that is absolutely non-traditional. So what I'm going to try to do is show you how to utilize Minecraft in your own classroom to further engage your students, to create completely immersive experiences that will bring out all kinds of great class discussions that would have never been able to have been brought out before. So I invite you to join me on this Discovery of Minecraft Education Edition. Welcome to Minecraft Education Edition. Now this first video we're going to be taking a look at what you need to do to learn how to create a world in which you're going to have your students play. So after you get logged in the first thing you're going to want to do is head to settings. The only thing I've changed on my settings, I've changed the sensitivity a bit. I've, I've uh, raised it a bit so my, my mouse is a little more sensitive. I've also changed the layout of the keys that I use in order to place blocks and destroy blocks. So I put destroys button 2 on my mouse, which is the uh, right mouse button. And I put place blocks for button 1 because that's my left mouse button. That's just my setup, but you can use whatever setup that, that you want to be able to use for that. Now there's all kinds of other things you can change in here. However, I would just leave them completely alone. And then go back here to the start screen and change what clothes it is that you'd like to have your character wear. I have this guy He's kind of odd, he's kind of funny, a little bit quirky, kind of like me, but you can change it to whatever you want it to be, okay? All right, and once you once you have the skin that you want, you're just going to click confirm, and then you'll see him right there. All right, let's play. So we're going to go to, we're going to start a brand new world, so we're going to click on create new. Now, the nice thing about Minecraft Education Edition is it has a tutorial world which will walk you through how to do everything that you need to learn how to do in Minecraft. My suggestion would be to do this first, then come back to this video. You also have a nice windmill challenge, uh, mesa biome. However, we're going to click Generate Random. And instead of Survival, we're going to make this a creative world. And we want to keep it always day. It makes it a little bit easier for us to be able to do the things we want to do. Then we're going to click Play. Now, in future videos, I'll show you how to be able to set up game so that way your students can join them and that, that way you have full control over the world. We're not going to do that in this video. This video is getting you familiar with the blocks that you need to be able to use to create. All right. Now, we have spawned, which means uh, brought to life here on top of what looks to be a tree. Now, I don't want to be on a tree, so I'm going to move forward and back on my keyboard. And my keyboard settings are W to move forward, S to move backwards, a to move to the left, D to move to the right. And then I use my mouse to actually move my head around. Now it may take you a minute or two to get used to this. The first thing you need to do is look around. And what you'll see is that everything is indeed very blocky. That is the quintessential Minecraft. Now for our purposes I'm going to move down here a little bit because I want to show you what some of the blocks are. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to point to the, the area here at the bottom of the screen which shows you different kinds of blocks. And if I press 1, it gives me stone. If I press 2, it gives me cobblestone. 3 is dirt. 4 wood planks. 5 spruce planks. 6 a torch. Now when you start, you may not have anything on your screen, and that's okay too. In order to be able to place things there, I clicked on E. I have that set to bring up my inventory. And these are all the blocks that you have access to. Now, for our purposes, I'm just going to use cobblestone because it happens to be the first one. So I'm going to click it, bring it down to the first box, and then I'll click a little X here, and that will get me out of it. All right? So I'm going to click on one because that will bring up cobblestone, and I'm going to click on my left mouse button because that's what I have set to place blocks. And that's it. I placed it. Now, if I don't want it there, I press the left mouse button, or excuse me, the right mouse button, and it breaks it. So I place it, and I break it. It's that simple. Now, if I want to break these... I just right click and it breaks them. Now what you need to know is that when you put your students in survival it won't break quite this easily. All right, It'll take them a little bit of time to break all the blocks depending on what tools they have at their discretion. Now these are your building blocks for Minecraft. This is what you're going to use to create some things. All right, And this is really what makes Minecraft so much fun. It's the simplicity of it. Now if you 
double jump. So in my case, I have spacebar set to jump. So if I hit spacebar twice, I actually fly. I can press spacebar up and I'll fly higher and higher and higher and I can get a better perspective of what this world looks like in the different biomes that I have in this world. Now if I want to drop down, I just double space again and I fall. Now I want to get rid of these blocks because I want to show you how to uh, build some things here. So I'm going to go over to my my wood planks and I want to build a house. So I'm just going to build a simple house because I want my students to be, able to be able to have a house that they can survive in. Now I want to leave some space for a door here. And all I'm doing, as you'll notice, is I'm just simply placing blocks. Very simple to do. Now you may be wondering why in the world would a student need a house? Well, depending on the way you have your world set, at night if you have it set as, as normal, at night animals or monsters, zombies, and those kinds of things come out. And they will attack you. Now I have it set a peaceful so you won't get that in here. This is my simple house. Now there's no doors so technically at night zombies and those things can come in. So if I hit E for my inventory, I'm going to look down here. Oh, no doors here. These are some special items here, and I see there's a door. So I'm going to click on the door, and I want to bring it in. I'm going to hit one for the door, place it, and there's my door. My door opens, and my door closes. And that's about as simple as it gets. Now, my suggestion for, for you, depending on what you want to do with Minecraft, is you might want to create some of these structures for your students to be able to use, especially depending on their age. Now, you can have them craft it, and that may be part of what it is that you want to have them do. Now, what I want to do is I want to show you some special, some special blocks that are not in normal Minecraft. First one is the allow block. The next one is the deny block. And the last one is the border block. And these are very simple blocks to use. The allow block is one that students can break, just like that. Okay. The deny block is one that students cannot break. It's impossible for them to break, to blow up, to light on fire. And the last one is the border block. And this is probably the coolest block, I think. When you place the, the border down, students cannot break it. They cannot go fly through it, and they cannot dig underneath it. So if for some reason you want to create a jail, you can actually put someone in this, and there's no way they could escape it. They can't dig under it, and they can't go around it. This is kind of neat, especially if you have a very large world, Minecraft world, and you would like to keep the students in a smaller area. Now, we're going to break these blocks for now. And the way that you access these, once again, is by going into your inventory, and it's at the very bottom of your inventory, these three unique blocks are that you won't see in regular Minecraft. So if you watch lots of Minecraft videos, you will not see these in any other Minecraft version except Minecraft Education. Students will not have access to these blocks. Only teacher accounts will actually have access to these blocks. All right? Now, there is another block that you need to be made aware of, too, that, is, that can be uh, very, very handy. Uh, there are actually several other blocks. And these are posters. I'm going to put these in my inventory here because I want to show you what they can do. So the first one's very small, but it gives me a chance to write some directions. To students. Once again, students cannot break these, they can't edit them, they can't blow them up. So wherever you place these, they are there forever. Now let's say this is a little small for what you want to be able to give them directions for. Well, you can create a poster. Now let's say this is a little small. Okay, You want even, even more area to be able to give them further directions. You're going to put down a board. There you go. All right, so those are your three. And once again, students cannot edit these. Students cannot blow these up. You can edit them, however. So just like you placed it, you're going to click on it, and then you can go back and change these whenever you'd like to. All right, so we're going to tear these down. 
And I want to show you one last block. It can be very helpful. All right. And this is an egg. And this is a character that you can give a name to and you can allow them to give directions. And once again, students cannot destroy this character. They cannot blow it up. They can't let it on fire. And you can change the name to whatever you want. I'm going to call this character Bob. And I can add whatever text I would like. Now I can even give them a web address here if I want to, to have them go to be able to access further information. And I can click and change the look of the character. And once I X out of it, then I've got Bob, the directions. Students cannot edit any of this information here. They can't change the URL. All they can do is access the information. They can't actually change any of it. Which can be very, very handy depending on what, what kind of scenario you'd like to play out in your Minecraft world. Now, once again, if we go back to your inventory, those first three blocks were at the very bottom of the building blocks. Okay. Under decorations, you'll see these, the three unique slate, poster, and board. And then the character we just spawned is the spawn NPC egg here, the multicolored egg. All right. And those are all very unique to Minecraft Education. So those are the basics for Minecraft Education Edition. Real, real rough basics, but at least you get an idea of, of kind of what to expect, what, what you're looking at here. My suggestion here would be to spend some time, open up a test world, look around, because there are so many aspects of this game that are really absolutely incredible that can allow you to do some really interesting things beyond just what you see here in front of you. All right, beyond just the biomes, um, beyond just being able to build, there's some really great lessons. And in future videos, I'm going to show you what I do in my classroom to utilize Minecraft. I'm also going to give you some tips and some hints in order to have you uh, create your own uh, immersive experience for your students as well. So stay tuned and check out the rest of the videos.